hello guys i hope all of you are fine in today's video we will be doing the concept of nave string matching algorithm what we are going to do i'll just take one example and then i will tell you i'll calculate the complexity accordingly as well let's say uh, there is a text which is given to us and the text which is given to us is a c double a b c and i want to find a pattern if i want to ca I'll calculate the pattern i want to find a a b now in this scenario what you will do you will try to match this particular pattern and this pattern is having length 3 and this text is having length 6 if i want to match you know i want to match so what i will do i will match this a a b uh, and how the matching will be done first shift is that i will match this a a b with a c a this is shift number one mind you that if uh, this is having length n this is having length m so we are actually matching three characters we are not matching one character obviously in one shift i will correct i'll match one character by one character but obviously if i have to talk about matching i am matching n minus m characters for a single shift means this is shift number one and what i will match i will match a c a with a a b so i will match a with a matches then i will match because if it is a match then i will move forward i will match a with c does it match no it means that a c a is not equal to a a b now i will go with shift number two my shift number two says i should match c a a this is my shift number two and I should match CAA with AAB again. So it means AAB is one particular thing, which is a double AB, which is a pattern I want to find inside this, this text. I'll match CAA with AAB. The moment I match A with C, it doesn't match. So by default, this won't, won't count. So I'm not going to be, I'm not matching this a a b with c a a since first match does not count i initially i started with a match with c doesn't match so uh, what i will do uh, it doesn't match in this particular scenario i would rather just check what i i would do i would rather have my shift number 3 my shift number 3 says i must move one character see initially i started with this shift then I started with this shift and now I should start with this shift. So it means I should uh, target AAB and I'm trying to match AAB with AAB. Obviously, your shift number says AAB matching with AAB. Definitely it will match because A matches with A, then A matches with A, then B matches with B. Clearly, shift number three says AAB matches with AAB and we are matching three characters. So we have a, a total length, which is, uh, which is of a text is six and pattern is three. So we are matching N minus M technically. Why? Because you can even see over here, we are matching three characters and last shift. If I talk about last shift, this is matching and the last shift, which, which is remaining is ABC. And I'm trying to match AAB with ABC. Obviously, it won't match. So in shift number three, I got my result and the pattern matched. The, the text was your ACA, ABC and your pattern was AAB, which actually existed over here. Right? So this is actually your nave string matching algorithm. So what important uh, things to take away? Firstly, uh, matching is, if I want to match, matching depends upon n minus m, considering n is text length, m is pattern length, right?
So we are matching n minus m technically because uh, if I want to basically check this whole part and importantly, uh, what is the criteria of matching? Criteria of matching is entirely dependent upon m which is pattern length because your number of characters if I talk about a simple number of characters that are matched are actually three. If you remember previous example, you have ACA matched with AAB three characters. CAA matched with uh, AAB three characters. AAB matched with uh, AAB and AAB matched with ABC three characters, right? So the characters, number of characters that you are matching are this. How many number of shifts that you have used? So the number of shifts were four, right? That always number of uh, number of shifts are four. So technically, if I want to calculate number of shifts, can I write it as n minus m plus one? Yes, we can write why because n minus m was the number of uh, entire. Uh, strings and patterns that we are actually targeting we are matching them till this particular time this should run means till n minus m i i am going to work but total number of sheets were four because n minus m was three and one is one plus one is actually four that is what we have taken that is the time that we have taken to calculate the number of ships so that was four then then in the next part uh, we uh, we can write and uh, we can write this algorithm if i want to write this entire algorithm the al algorithm would be uh, and if i want to calculate time complexity of it so if i want to calculate time complexity Time complexity, guys, again, it is dependent upon number of shifts. The number of shifts were n minus m plus 1. And it is actually multiplied with m. Why? Because m is the number of characters which we are taking, guys. It is the number of characters in the pattern that we are taking. We are matching. Always, always, we are matching pattern. So that will always be a constraint. And how many number of times we are matching is the number of shifts. So this would be the time complexity of it. Even you can see over here. Uh, if if Even if you want to take an example, see over here. Shift number one, ACA match with. So always AAB is getting matched. So this will obviously will be counted. Will, will always have M is definitely a determining factor. And how many times we have matched? Obviously, n minus m times we till that we are going to run. It means we are going to work till ABC and it is working till n minus m only. And plus one is the number of shifts that we have taken. Although plus one will be negligible at the end of the day, even m is negligible at the end of the day. But uh, the n minus m plus one multiplied with m. So this is your nave string matching algorithm. I'm writing the algorithm like this. Now, if, if I just have to write the algorithm, what we will do, we will just uh, write, uh, we have uh, nave string matching. Right? We are taking text and pattern accordingly uh, as a part of a parameter. Now, what I'm writing, I'm taking n, which is length of text and m this is length of pattern right now what we are going to do obviously we are going to have shifts so shifts work till n minus m so i'm just writing for s is equal to 0 to n minus m we have to just match we have to match if pattern first to total m is actually equal to text and we are always going to shift in every shift initially if your shift is starting with zero right 
so uh, obviously when it is starting with zero and we have to check that whether this shift is till s plus one till s plus m till it works till m characters we are going to increase the shifts if that value is equal we can say pattern found else obviously we will increase l will uh, obviously if this uh, condition is true we will write pattern found uh, we will exit and this entire uh, total algorithm will end but again guys just see this thing that it is again with the pattern which is working till m so this will consume n uh, this will consume n minus m and technically it will work till 1. So the complexity would be order of n minus 1, n minus m plus 1 multiply with m. Technically m and 1 will be taken off because why they will be taken off? Uh, the reason is very very simple. The reason is m is not comparable with n because m length is always less than n. And 1 is also a constant number, it will be taken out. But overall, if we have to calculate the complexity, this is the complexity of mainstream matching algorithm. If you like this video, kindly like, share, subscribe, kindly share it to maximum audience so that we can reach numbers. Thank you very, very much.